Holder of Banishment In any city, in any country, you might find an asylum that wasn't there before. Enter it, for it may be your only chance as a seeker to do so. Look in the front lobby for the concierge. If there isn't one, today is not your day to find this object, and you must leave the asylum forever, never to try again in this town or the next. If there is one, do not take any action until she lets you. If she greets you first, it is a bad sign. You are fated to die on this very day. If, however, she lets you make the first move, greet her as she might have greeted you. She will ask you why you are here. Say nothing but the holder of banishment. Pray that she will weep for you. If she does, you will know that she knows of what has become of your quest, and it might be successful in the end. If she does not weep, you know that your last days on this earth will be the darkest days you will have seen. Your quest will never fully come to an end if she smiles. Follow her outside of the asylum to a graveyard if you have made it this far. If only the asylum vanishes, you have done everything right. If the concierge also vanishes, you will forget ever setting foot into the asylum, and will head home as if nothing ever happened. Once you both make it into the graveyard, she will point with a bony finger to a shade of the holder of banishment. Go to the shade. It will motion you to follow. If you have led a good life so far, please move in the opposite direction she motions you to go. If your life has been purely bad, continue with the shade. If you were honest about this, your decision will lead you to a dark forest, infested with either the darkest creatures you have seen, or the forest will be entirely hallowed and empty, void of all life except for the trees themselves, depending on how you lived before you became a seeker. In the center of the forest will be a large tree. The tree is the true holder of banishment, and will have many upward roots. Carved in the tree is the language. Stealing so much as a single glimpse at it will result in a severe penalty, different for each seeker. If you do not have the knife, there will be a strange-looking cutting tool on the ground. Cut out a piece of root from the tree. If you have the knife, you will notice that the roots from the tree have made a small stain on it, something that nothing else could do to the knife before. With the stained part of your tool, cut out a pentagram on either wrist and lay the root on it. You will feel as if every cell in your body is being ripped and displaced, but when you regain consciousness, you will be back where you started with a root-lined pentagram that can banish anyone to heaven or hell at the holder's whim. You will find yourself, however, unable to banish yourself. When you die, you will become the next holder, as well as part of the tree, and your shade will be sent out to guide the next soul. You are now part of Object 535 or 538. Don't abuse your power.